Good afternoon, everybody. Today is May 21st, 2023. It is day 106. Let's get started. Because we have to talk about the latest Fast and the Furious movie. Okay, so yesterday evening, like I said, we went to go see the latest Fast and Furious movie, and you guys, let me tell you, I was surprised. Now, the one thing about it is, when we went into the theater, it was sunny, it was hot, there was barely any clouds in the sky. Okay, so keep that in mind for what I'm going to tell you later after I tell you about my thoughts on the movie. Okay, so when the movie ended and when the lights finally turned on, I got to thinking that I can't give you guys a full review just yet because then it'll ruin it for you guys if you plan to go see the movie because I'll end up telling you everything that happened or all the things that I can remember. So I thought, I don't exactly know how new the movie is, but being the fact that it's still in the theater, I'm going to say that it came out within, what, the past maybe week or two? I don't think it's been more than, I have no clue, like maybe, let's say three weeks at the most. Okay, it all depends on where you live as well. Okay, so I know for some of you, it may have been out for a couple of months. I don't know. But now I thought I'm going to have to give you a review without ruining for you. Because I don't know if you've ever watched a movie with somebody or you got ready to watch a movie, I should say, with somebody. And then throughout the movie, they just keep telling you, ooh, okay, wait till you see this part. Watch, he's going to, I don't know, uh, kick the ball uh, across the field and it lands in a pond and splashes his lady or something like that, right? And you're sitting there thinking, well, now I know what happened. It's like, it takes the fun out of seeing it, right? So I realized that if I tell you guys, it's going to ruin everything. So I won't do like the whole, what's that called? I always mess up with spoiler alerts. Yeah, I won't do that. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys my overall thoughts of the movie. And then I'll wait some time. I don't know how long. I'd say I'll give it maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks or maybe even not until... Uh, next month sometime in June to give like a full review because that will give people enough time to actually see it. Okay, so my first thought was another Fast and Furious. I like the movies and the series of them, but what else can they do? Now, of course, they have all these possibilities because they have so many different actors and actresses that are in this movie. So many different characters. Okay, so there's so many different ways that they can go with it. So yes, they can probably keep this going for another 10 to 15 years, I would say. And if they made a movie, let's say once every year or every two to three years, then I could see them stretching it out over that period of time and still keeping the interest of a lot of people, including myself. Okay, so I did think like, okay, well, what else can they do? And then I thought about what I just said, right? So I thought there's a lot more they can do. Okay, so I was really surprised. This one was, was a little different. Okay, and I would have to say, I felt this way about the last one, but I feel more this way now. It's almost like, oh wow, they're all grown up. You know, from the beginning, yes, the movie is action packed. And there are so many twists and turns and there are so many uh, driving stunts for whatever is not filmed in front of a green screen, right? There are so many stunts that they do, whether they have stunt doubles or they do them themselves and things like that. So there's all these different aspects of this movie. But so far as the storyline itself, that's what I think is like all grown up, like it's matured now. Okay, so to me, now it's um, on a whole different kind of level. Okay, and yes, yes, they were young back then. Okay, this movie, or this series of this movie has been out for years and years, right? Okay, so I just looked at everything and was like, oh wow, this 
it's next level even for this movie. Okay, so um, none of the actors, for me personally, you know, disappointed. Okay, I had no disappointment whatsoever. Um, we'll start with, we'll say Tyrese. He was funny, but he was more serious, like kind of in the beginning of the movie than he usually is. It usually, you know, at some point, he cracks a joke or something, and him and uh, Ludacris are always kind of like at each other, right? But they crack jokes, but of course, they're all friends. So it was kind of a little different to see because the consistency of Ludacris' character was still there. And Tyree's character was just a little bit more serious than what I was expecting. Okay, so, um, oh, my throat, you guys. <laughs> Always my throat, and I'm thinking, I don't know why. Um, maybe because I washed my car like a couple of days ago, and at some point I had to open up this garage and put back like all the stuff I used to wash it with. So I'm thinking just being out here. Like I always tell you guys when I come out here, my throat, my allergies just kind of kick off. Um, so, and then I said I wasn't going to forget. And I can't remember. I have to look and see. I have one cup that I need to wash. And if the spoon's in there, then I get my lemon. If not, I do that when I go back in. I believe I did it this morning, actually, though. Um, but I could be wrong because I got kind of sidetracked for a little bit. I'm trying to decide what do I tell and what don't I tell for today. Okay, so like I said, um, yeah, Tyree's character was just a little bit more serious than what I expected. But in a different way, like serious, serious. Like he just wasn't having it, you guys. And I was like, wow, did they tell him to act like that? Or was there something else going on? And it just came out in the movie. I don't know. But they told him to do that. He nailed it. Okay. And then also, I will have to say, I've always loved Tyree's smile. Okay. Um, his teeth are just so pretty and white. I'm like, oh, wow. That's one of the things that I think that besides his singing skill that I really noticed about him when he first came out. Okay, because um, at some point in time back in like my, I can't remember if it was before or after I went to college, but sometime either I would say before my early 20s or after, like when I came back and I had moved back home um, from, like I said, from college to university, all that stuff, uh, there was a concert and he was there. And you guys know he's from my hometown. So um, his mom looks super familiar. That's crazy. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if I had met her, come across her at some point. And um, a lot of people know my mom. I always say that. I tell people, everybody knows my mom. So I would not be surprised if they uh, know each other. I would actually be surprised if they don't. Our parents, right? At least the mothers. Um, I don't know, like, a lot about him other than where he's from. And the fact that his mom looks super familiar, like that's crazy. Uh, it was a concert out at the fairgrounds. You guys want to say, that was a long time ago because to me it was there, right? And um, yes, okay, so let me say focus because I'm supposed to be telling you guys bits and pieces of, not bits and pieces of the movie, but my thought overall of the movie, okay? But yes, um, of course, having that information, I was gonna end up sharing it at some point, right? All right, so, um, yes, it was just unexpected. It made me ask, kind of like, what's wrong with him? Like, he is really upset, right? Um, at some point, you're like, oh, something, something, make a joke, smile, right? And then you're like, okay, they, you know, they, they cool. They're just kind of like uh, playing around or like, how do you say it? So, okay, these are old school words, but I'm an 80s baby, so keep that in mind. Like, clowning, roasting, like that, right? Okay, so... Then we have the um, lady that is, I always like get that mixed up. How would you lose that? On a French, English, I don't know. Um, maybe they're one and the same. Maybe there are some differences. You know, like you don't know by now? No. <laughs> I kind of don't. So, um, yes, she's so pretty. The one with the accent, right? I love that accent. And so she's kind of new into the movie. And um, I would say that she's good for like the whole team. She's kind of like a balance. Because at some point she's like, hey, cut it out, you know? 
And they, they do. So I've noticed that if there is like some type of friction in between the two characters and it's getting kind of heated, like real, real heated, then she is kind of quick to be like, hey, no, no, no. Especially if she's the only one that's with him. So I think it's a good balance to have her there. I like the fact that they added her in. And of course, um, I would have to say that, okay, so we also know there's other characters. Um, there's Gal Gadot, right? Love her. She's so pretty. And I mean, just, there's so many interesting facts about her. Um, if I had never seen her as Wonder Woman or in the Avengers or I think, uh, what else? What's that other one called? Mm, I want to say I can't remember if she was in Justice League, but that too as well. Like all those movies and stuff like that, I still think I would have been drawn to her as just an actress overall. Um, and I love her accent. Like I think she does really well in her movies. Whatever she plays in, she just nails it every time, right? But at least to me, I think she's a very good actress. She has um, just a good skill. And so I really like her. And then Han. Of course, everyone is going to, uh, well, like I said, everyone got over. So Han was a little bit, obviously, older than what he has before. And um, like I said, they were all young, really, really young at first, right? When this movie first started and when he first came in. And his character is pretty much kind of still the same. Um, boy, he fights. <laughs> they all can, but he's very skilled, and so I like him as a character. And so I thought that he is doing well in the movies, and he still is. Um, okay, so let's see, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, one thing I have to say about him is I've always liked his name. I've never even searched to see the short for Vincent, but I'm like, that's such an awesome name. Like, it's so cool. Like, if that is not just a, a stage name or something like that, if that's like, a, I say his birth name, I think I've always liked his name. It just has a cool sound to it, right? And he does really well. His character is just what you would expect. Okay, he has, I won't say he hasn't changed much, like he's gotten a little softer maybe, so far as, um, don't get me wrong, if you're messing with him, then of course, he's going to defend himself as well, but I think, you know, with him finding out what, in the one before this, I think that he had a baby, like a literal baby, like still little. Um, I think, you know, his thought process of, and his actions of family is very important to him. And if he calls you his family, that's something that is very important to him. Like, it, it means something. It means a lot. But I think for him to have a family and then to find out, like I said, to find out that he had a baby, he had a child, that's where I mean that he kind of... Uh, it's kind of softened up as a character. You know, I won't say he got nicer. I would say he was probably always nice. It just kind of shows more, you know, until you mess with his family, especially his kids. So um, he just did, he did really well. And I think he really just fits into his character. Um, I really, really liked his acting in this one as well. Okay, not just the other ones. This one especially because there is, there's kind of no limit that he's willing to to go to. Like there is um, not really a lot of boundaries when it comes to his family and the principle of that. So he really shows that very well. And I, I will have to admit I was like, oh wow, you know, <laughs> like I said, I understand everyone got older, he just, he just didn't look as young, right, um, in the face, and I was just like, whoa, you know, um, it's just kind of odd when you see all the characters age overall, right, so it just caught me off guard, it's like, whoa, wow, a um, little different than what I'm used to seeing, and I don't know, to the point to where I would think, nah, they have to put like a little bit more makeup on him than, you know, what they normally put on the characters or whatever. Um, to make him look older, I, I would think, I don't know. I didn't even Google a picture to see what he looks like now, so I was just surprised, like, wow. Um, 
But yeah, he did really well. Okay, so like I said, they added so many people, right? Oh my gosh. I have to mention him. Statham. Oh my goodness. I don't think there's a movie that I have not liked him in. And let me tell you, I thought this man could fight before in like the other movies, which I'm assuming like at some point you actually pick up the skill. It's not just something that you do in a movie and then all of a sudden you forget. Um, he may already have been into martial arts. But this one, this was next level Salem for fighting. Um, it was, he was funny, but he's always funny like, uh-oh, you about to get kicked in the face. Like, you know, I think um, he really... I'm just, I'm wow. That's all I can say. I was just like, oh, wow. Okay, there was this one part when they first showed him. And um, you couldn't really tell it was him at first. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you like, oh yeah, you know right away. No, you don't. But when you finally find out, you're just like, uh-oh. And I think, I feel like overall, that he may have been trained more. Not just for this movie, like I would really, if they were to tell me like, oh, he's in like kickboxing tournaments, you know, uh, jiu-jitsu, all that stuff, like tournament stuff, stuff like that, I would actually not be surprised. Okay, because he really, really showed the skill this time. And I was, you know, for me, I love martial arts, so I was like, get him, get him. And then you all, <laughs> if it was somebody that you would think, oh, well, they would possibly be close, you know, you kind of forgot because you're just looking at just his fighting skill, period. And so I was thinking, everyone, everyone that comes across from this movie is just in trouble, okay? Stay away. That's all I can say. Um, I loved his character in this movie, in the specific Fast and Furious. All right, so uh, let's see. Who else is in this movie? Um, mm, let's see. I believe she would be, would she be his mom? She's in it. And I've always liked her as an actress. Yes, she's playing a lot of stuff. She did really well. Um, I don't know if she really has that accent. I can't remember. But I like it. Like, she, she did that very well. And they pulled in another lady that I think was the mom of one of them, and I don't know whose mom she was, but she got introduced in. So if she's been in the movie before, I haven't really noticed her, but uh, she stood out to me like her hair and clothes and everything and stuff like that. And I liked her. She really like brought to the, you know, like I said, they're really into um, family and stuff like that and how close they are. And she kind of tied that all together. So I won't tell you guys what scene she was in and I don't even know who she is and what her name is. And I'll be like, that if, if she played in something else I've seen, I'm like, oh wow, I didn't even recognize her. I would be surprised, right? Okay, but I liked that feeling that you got with her there in the movie. Okay, um yeah, there was some touching parts that she was involved in so far as just like, oh, kind of like melt your heart, what I mean by that is um yeah, you guys get what I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to explain, basically. Um, it was just like, oh, like that, okay? Basically, what I mean when I say um, it was just touching moments, basically, okay? And let's see. Uh, let's see. Right? I don't even, I don't know or remember, like, the actress, like, her actual name. Um... To me, she looks the same, but she looks different. And so far as her fighting, um, her skill, like I said, has just increased. And then I don't know if she was always really the person that was like kind of more so on the motorcycle than anything. I always saw her driving like a car. Okay, so if she hasn't really been on a motorcycle, we get to see like the motorcycle type of action. And um, I just thought that that's good that she's still in the movie because I think they should try and keep as many of the original characters as they can. And so, uh, I was, like I said, really impressed with her fighting. 
Um, I think she does more of that in this movie than more so some of the other ones. Um, with skill. Okay, skill and tact. Yes. And she has to just that, like, hey, you want to start something? You know, don't start on Wabina and type thing, right? And I think that's, she's kept that and that's good. Okay, so they need it. Because I always come up against somebody, just when they think they come up against like a bad villain, there's always like a worse one, right? So that's what kind of happened with this movie. Um, now let's see if I'm forgetting. I know that there's other people that I was going to mention before him. Let me think. Going through people. Um, they still kind of talk about Brian and everything, and I think... That, that's still sad to me. I'm like, wow, you know? Um, you'll still see glimpses, of, I guess you could say, glimpses of like pictures and stuff like that of him here and there. They still talk about him, obviously. And so, being that that's a real life event that happened, and it wasn't just like, oh, his character got killed off, like, like off the movie itself, um, you're just like, oh, you know, I think, I can't imagine being around someone for that long, working with someone for that long, and them just, it, I, I just, I have, I really have no words for that. I was like, there were some parts like, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, right? And those were those moments. Okay, so, I don't see them ever, like, not mentioning him, and talking about him and stuff like that, and, um, I can't imagine how hard that would be to have to say that because, you know, you do the script, say the lines, but the feeling, I think they would have to, like, cut a lot if I was in it because I'd probably cry a lot. And, like, you really want me to say this. You know, um, just missing him. You know what I mean? So I think, I don't know if they've had to, like, you know what, give me a minute. Just, I'm so sorry. Um, with movies, when they make them time is money, right? I think every time they have to cut and do another scene, it costs more, right? Because it takes longer to make the movie. So they would just have to, in my, I don't know, it would have to cost more to the point to where I would want to, like, here, take a piece out of my, my cut because it's because of me. Um, because I'm a lot more e emotional than what I used to be. So, yeah. Uh, be prepared to where if you think, oh, I think I'll be okay. Don't think that just yet until you go see it. Okay, so... Yeah, take, take some tissue, okay, um, just in case. Now, also, we have Uncle Jacob, right? The guy that plays Uncle Jacob. Hilarious, hilarious, and then <laughs> it's almost just like when you see somebody, a character in a movie or a cartoon, and it's just like, mm, <laughs> it's the first thing goes like, ah, you know, <laughs> and it's funny, right? You're just like, why are you even messing with it? Do you see the size of this man? Like, do you see his height and his, his, uh, sis, like his physique and stuff like, and his fighting skill. That's the worst part about it. There's a skill and a strength behind that as well. And so you're looking at people like, are you really about to, is that man like six, five or something? Are you serious? He's going to go against him. And, uh, even though he has to be like that, he balanced out so well at the same time where where you're like oh watch out watch out oh get him ooh I bet that hurt and then you're laughing at something he's saying the next minute but they they did so well with his character I'm saying oh my gosh I feel so bad that I can't remember uh, his name but you know in the movie he's Uncle Jacob so I really really liked him and then the lady oh she she was the villain like I think in the last one right um, she also plays, let's see, does she play the queen for Snow White and the Huntsman? Or, it's not Once Upon a Time. One of those two movies, I think she's the queen, right? And I think it's just, sometimes they have like a character role, and that's like the role they play. Um, we'll say not all the time, but maybe often. And so, you know, in this movie, it was like, oh my gosh. Means not the word, right? And... She just plays how whatever they told her to do, she does it well. Uh, like I said, me is not the word. Me would be a good thing if you came across her and she was just me, right? So 
she didn't really kind of lose that about herself. But like I said, there's always a villain that's that's worse, right? So as if she wasn't bad enough because but what she did to the or had done I think, to the mother of Dominic's baby, right? So she didn't lose any of that in her personality. And I, I mean, it's like, oh, wow. She just, I don't know. She probably, or possibly might be the nicest person you've ever met in the world. But in the movie, you wouldn't know that. And so, yeah, she nailed it. She nailed her character last time, and she nailed it this time. Um, there's a few kind of unexpected kind of things from her. And then her skill of fighting, like I said, really good at that, right? And actually, with her being, you know, the villain, it's not a good thing, right? Um, I mean, you definitely have a challenge. And so she was kind of like on a, another level in the last one, I think, or one of the last ones. And like I said, that really hasn't changed about her. It's just the position that she's in in this movie is a little different. But don't underestimate her because we already know she's like that, right? Because so just expect whatever you saw before, expect it just... The matter of, it's a matter of when. When does it really, really show? Okay? And then, okay, so the other guy that I have to mention, wait, let me think. I'm trying to go through all the people first. Okay, so we have a new villain, right? Um, let's see, who am I forgetting? They have so many people on their team. Mmm, thinking, I went behind, I went to group this, let's see. Her and. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Okay, we know that uh, Dwayne Johnson, also I would call him The Rock now. I think he's like way, way past that, right? Um, I would say some people probably still call him The Rock. And for me, I just say Dwayne Johnson. Uh, let's see. You guys are gonna have to watch to see if he's in it. I'm not gonna tell you if he's in it or not. Okay, just watch the movie to find out. And Let's see, the new person, right? The guy that plays Aquaman. I was supposed to, oops, oops. Like I said, I was supposed to look up his name. But everyone, of course, knows him as Aquaman. And so, y'all, this, let me, let me make sure I have enough time. Oh yeah, I got plenty of time, kids. 26 minutes and 20 seconds. Here's, <laughs> his character, I couldn't get it out without laughing because he was funny. Okay, so he was hilarious. You know, in Aquaman, he is hilarious. He's sarcastic. You know, um, he at one point is trying to like live a peaceful life, and then he, I think it's almost like kind of like a kind of a relation, kind of like Thor, right? You're supposed to be the leader, but you know, but you didn't, or you're not. You know, you got them if they cast you or they did something, made you leave or something. You know, they kind of have a similar story, somewhat, but. Eventually, I think Aquaman, then he eventually starts like rolling underneath the ocean and stuff like that, right? Okay, so you get to see all these different parts of him, but the one thing that doesn't change is that he's funny, he's sarcastic, and he always has this heroic thing about him, right? He's going to do the right thing. Um, you might go have to go find him, but everyone needs their peace. So once you find him and he's in, all right, let's do this. Okay. He was like that except for one thing. Like I said, he was the villain. And it was, for me, I never really want to root for the villain, but I was just like, the first thing I thought it, toward the beginning and middle of the movie was, I don't like Aquaman as a, as a bad person, like as a villain. Um, I like him better when he's nice, right? So I found myself being a little puppy, like, hey, I mean, this is Aquaman, like what are they doing? And then I'm looking at his skill, like his range of acting, and I was just like, he plays a really good villain. And when he gets serious, he's very serious, right? And I know this is not a word, okay? I know, villainy. I know that's not a word. He gets really villainy very quickly. Um, but he still is cracking the jokes, right? So you're trying not to laugh, and then you're just like, but you can't help it, right? So... You have, I don't know, listen to me, I had like mixed feelings. Like, no, I'm not supposed to be laughing at what you're saying right now, you're the villain. But I mean, if it's funny, you're gonna laugh. So a lot of people, a lot of his parts in the theater, we'd be watching everything like that. And I would have to say that 
for all the people that were in there, like we laughed the most at the stuff he said and the stuff he did. Um, even in the midst of him doing like the worst thing he could do as a villain in different parts of the movie, because he would be kind of joking as well, you're still laughing. And someone could have just lost their arm and be like, oh my gosh. And you look at him and you're just watching how he's acting and you're just like, I, I can't with you right now. Stop it. Right? I'm not, this is not supposed to be funny. So he did really, really well. Um, I think, let's see, I, I don't want to ruin it. I want to tell you guys who my uh, husband said that he reminded him of. Another character in the movie. But I, I don't know. I know, I've seen him, like I said, what, what is it? So I'm thinking, um, Avengers, and then Aquaman, right? I don't know, I don't think Justice League, but just those heroic type movies, right? And the scene was a villain, it was just really, I won't say awkward, but then again, it kind of was, but it was like awkward in a good way, but like, dude, you got issues in another way so far as his character, right? Like you're slipping him, like, okay. And then you just bust out laughing because of something he says or something that he does. Um, I don't know, honestly, and I would probably have to say that there's no way he did this without just busting out laughing. If they have bloopers for this movie, I would think that he's probably is busted laughing in the bloopers and anyone that's in the scene that can't keep a straight face has just fallen out laughing. I don't see how if they had to do more takes, part of the reason wouldn't be because of him. Because if you're supposed to like be all serious toward him and he says what he says in, in the movie in any part, you're just like, and, and you know, you can feel yourself like, I know me. I like to laugh and I'm goofy, so I can't. I don't even know how he did it. They would be super mad at me if I was him and I had to play that part because they'd be like, okay. Um, the fact that he was probably supposed to laugh at some of the stuff he said and have reactions like he's happy about what he's saying, even though it's like the worst thing he's saying and even the worst thing that he's doing. But to have the composure or to appear, because they can just cut the, the stuff, right, and just throw it into the bloopers. The composure you have to have afterwards, especially if you, if you have to like get serious right at the next second, there's no way. There's not a lot of bloopers with him just busting out laughing. Like, okay, wait, you're supposed to be serious right now. And he's like, I can't. You guys, do, do you hear what you just had me say and how you wanted me to do it and how, you know, I said it? Like, that was hilarious. So, I would have to say, I like all the characters in the movie, but in this specific one, he was, he was my favorite because I like to laugh and I laugh the most. And when he did him and the guy who plays Uncle Jacob, they just had me rolling the whole entire time. So, um, yeah, if you already knew he was going to be a villain, and you're wondering if he can do it, yes. If you're wondering, like, oh, how uh, robbed is his range of acting skill, yes. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so I can tell you that much. Um... I didn't know he was capable of, of having, of doing that or having that skill. I just, I was like, okay, you know, I'm interested to see what else can he do. Can he play just a completely serious character? That's what I want to know. If they have him in movies, I might go search and then tell you guys tomorrow on the next walk if I found anything where I'm like, okay, judging from the plot that I read, if I watched the movie, he was serious the entire way through. Let's see if there's anything in it because um, I don't know if he can and I, you know, as a fan of him, I don't mind if he can't because he is funnier in this movie than any other movie I've seen him in. And I like comedy. So um, it's so crazy in the midst of things blowing up and, you know, the serious moments, the heated discussions between everyone else and even with him, there was something that it just... There's always like that fine attention to detail or that extra added thing like in a movie that really makes it just kind of pop and him and the guy that played Uncle Jake, they were it. And it's like I said, Statham with that fighting, oh my gosh. You expected of him, but I think he was like, look, I have way more skill than what y'all know. Watch this, you know? I don't think, I would say per se, that... He thinks that way, I'm just thinking, you know, 
I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so um, I would have to say, what word would I use for him? Like I said, the size series determined. Just, I mean, this time, because usually at some point there's some jokes or something, right? And it wasn't like an anger that he couldn't get rid of. I've always said that he's have, had a calmness to his anger in his characters. Um, by the time he expresses the anger, the fact that you're going to whack, whack, you know, like with the roundhouse kick and then you go flying across the room because he did a combo or whatever, there's a calmness to him and then there's a part where he gets like super angry and this one it was just like totally just balanced and calm. Um, and I don't know. There was another movie I was thinking of. I talked about him. I think I did a review on just him, right? And then I think I had him added into like another part of the walk because I don't think the review lasts the whole walk. Or I said I was going to do a review on him and I haven't done it yet, but he's one of my favorite actors. So I think, yeah, that's coming. It has to. And I know I'm going to end up talking about this movie again. Okay, plus I have to give you guys a full review. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys like maybe a couple more weeks, maybe, maybe three if I can. Um, I don't think I'll let a month go by before I actually just tell what happens like in the movie. And then what I also liked about it wasn't just um, all the acting skill that I got to see from everyone, whether it was expected or, expected or if it was something new. Like I said, a new part of the skill that I hadn't seen yet. Um, I would have to say the scenes. The scenes of where the movie takes place. There's all these like really cool scenes and stuff like that. And so I didn't research if they have actually go to these places and film there. Or is it green screen? I mean, with our technology that we have now, they could probably stay in one building and you would think that, you know, build up a little part of the set or whatever, and you'll probably think that they're in those places and they're not. Um, but if they were, then it was kind of cool. Because one place I have finally went to, I've been to, and then there was one part where I recognized the area because I was like, wow, I was there, standing there. So if they really filmed that in that location, then um, I thought that's so cool because most of the time I hadn't been anywhere out of the country. And so, yeah, um, they did really well. It's a cool movie overall. And then... Okay, we're 36 minutes and 86 seconds. I do want to make sure I tell you guys. Okay, so make sure um, that you still sit there at what you think is the end. Okay? If the lights have not went up yet, I don't care if they're rolling credits already. Still sit. Okay, because if you don't, there's going to be a part that you miss. Okay? It's almost going to be as if they start at the beginning of the next one, kind of, somewhat. But obviously, since you're there for that movie, it's the end. Okay, so it's kind of like an ending, but a beginning to, like, the next, somewhat. Okay, of course, when it starts off in the next part, um, I can't say of course. It may start off in a different scene, and it may not. That'd be kind of cool if they do that. Okay, so, yeah, if the person are willing to sit there, because I know that there was a couple people where I can't remember how many people have walked out of the theater and we just kind of kept sitting there like waiting and expecting for something else to happen and then there there is like another scene or two okay so I don't want to let you guys know that because I don't want you to miss it because it'll probably be like important to see those extra two or three scenes or something like that so that when you see the next one then you're like oh okay um, yeah, I remember this part, and you'll understand like, why the rest of it is, is happening. Okay, so um, we're at 37 minutes and 37 seconds. We're at, uh, I'll do the distance, let's say 2.5 for distance, 1 point, not 1 point, that's 173, 173 for calories. And I really, I don't know, I was really to think that this wouldn't last the whole walk, but it, it did. And I think I did okay because. This, I wanted it to be a full review, and like, I'm so sorry if you haven't seen it yet. But like I said, being the fact that it's still in the theater, I was like, no, 
don't don't spoil uh, the movie. Just tell them your overall thoughts. Um, they definitely are going to have to have more. And then I will tell you this because this is information that you can find online. You can Google this if you Google it before or after you see the movie. Okay, is that um, they are supposed to make another, I think, two, maybe three parts to this specific Fast and Furious. Okay, so you'll know when you see like the end and everything like that, like this definitely isn't it. We're not gonna just leave it at that, but specifically for this one. Okay, so the other thing I forgot to do was I forgot to look and see what was this called, like the Fast and the Furious something. Um, I know one of them is called like the fate of the Fast and the Furious, right? Okay, so they always add something to the beginning of the title or the end of the title. Okay, so yes, expect to see at least another one and maybe another one after that. This might be a three part, okay, for this uh, specific one. So we are at uh, 39 minutes and 26 seconds, so we're almost done. And I have just a number of things to take care of. Um, I don't know why it's kind of awkward for me that today's Sunday. I don't know why I feel like today's like Monday or Tuesday, but it's still the weekend, so that kind of changes a little bit what I have to do. But I'm going to try and get this walk uploaded first and then kind of get to those. A couple things I have to do around the house. And then yesterday, there were some things I forgot about. Those got taken care of. But you know, there's always something that you and the pathway do. There's always more. So we're at 40 minutes and 2 seconds for 2.6 for distance, 184 calories. I'm going to push stop here. And you guys, that is it. I will see you guys for tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.